morning guys welcome back to my channel today is what is today thursday and it's 8 a.m right now it probably doesn't seem like it because i have in a full face of makeup and i'm fully dressed but that's what happens when you wake up at 6 a.m i am going to grab coffee this morning oh my god my hair i'm gonna go grab coffee this morning with a friend of mine natalie you guys will probably follow her or see her on instagram natalie just I put her little instagram right here but i actually met her a couple years ago and she lives in chicago and we haven't seen each other in so so long but she's visiting la and she's like if you're free let's please go grab coffee i would like love to catch up with you and i was like you know what let's do that so we're gonna go to community goods this morning at 9 30 so it's 8 right now and i just wanted to like get ready this morning i need to film some content before i go so i'm getting dressed i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with my hair lately i've been leaving my hair down which is kind of a shock because you guys know like every day i put it in a bun but i'm wearing a like collared little shirt today so i was like i kind of want to put it up i don't have anything groundbreaking going on today but Grace is going to come over and we're going to work today, like all day on Christmas stuff. Making Christmas gift guides is probably one of my favorite things to do. I think it's like the Virgo in me. Like I just love like organizing and making lists and giving ideas to people. So I do it every single year. And this year I think I'm going to do the most gift guides and like the most items that I've ever done ever. So keep an eye out on my social media, like my TikTok and my Instagram because that's where I'm going to share the most. I'll probably do a video on here, like a huge gift guide on here. But Grace is going to come over today and we're going to work on Christmas gift guides and all of that kind of stuff because it's just like so much stuff and I just love Christmas. Okay, I do think I really want to put my hair up. <laughs> Why is this process such a workout? I also self tanned it this morning. I don't know what I was thinking because I have not exfoliated my last self tan off and it is so splotchy and so ugly that when I get home from coffee I'm 1010% washing it right off it's my fault because I didn't like exfoliate any of my skin I was so lazy this morning when I took a shower so yeah I'm gonna have to come back and now wash all of my self tan off which is such a waste of product <laughs> all right I'm using this this is the tea tree firm hold gel I'm just gonna do a little bit of gel in the front you guys these baby hairs are hissing me off they have no direction in life okay like they just sit on the very center front of my forehead they don't part either way they go down the middle so they're so irritating like so irritating and they just get like makeup all in them and so they look orange and I just can't stand them and I'm pretty sure the reason that they're there is because of when I cut bangs like I feel like whenever I cut bangs this hair right here just grew back in such a strange direction anytime my hair is up in a slick bun or a ponytail like I have to add earrings like bigger earrings these are my favorite earrings ever you guys this little like style like, look how cute they are i just love them as like everyday earrings like i love them with a casual outfit they're actually not super heavy well i don't feel like they're super heavy i guess everyone's different but i don't think they're like very heavy earrings and i have them in silver too and i just love them like i love them with everything maybe i'll add a necklace just for fun but all right now i'm ready hi guys it's been like 10 hours since I last saw you. That's why it's so dark in here. But I got home from coffee this morning and then Grace came over. Grace and I sat down for so long and did so much stuff for gift guides. Like literally we're just like grinding away, typing away, doing gift guides and stuff. Oh, I should have done that TikTok that's like the typing and it's like dun 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 dun. Yeah. And it's like me working on holiday. I should have done that. Oh well, time's up. Um, anyway. But she's leaving now and it's like almost six o'clock and she's robbing the store. I'm robbing the store. Grace is going shopping and she's taking some of my Keaton's PR. So kind yeah, she's taking some of my PR and she also just uh, ate half of my candy bowl. No. So she put some of this in here. It's like she came over and went trick or treating. Okay, you guys, I'm actually in bed now and I just took a shower and washed my spray tan off. I know I told you guys I was like so bummed, but it actually looks so much. I don't know, it looks like so even now that I like went in the shower and I scrubbed it off and then I exfoliated a little bit, which I normally don't do the day that I self-tan, but I needed to do that. Anyway, I got so 
nauseous. I don't know if anyone else gets like this during their time of the month, but mine is so so bad it's not typically this bad like i do normally have really terrible cramps and stuff but this this time around this month i am like literally in the trenches you guys my cramps are so excruciating yesterday it was i mean it was like excruciating to the point where i felt like i couldn't get up out of bed like i couldn't stand up and walk somewhere because i was in so much pain i'm normally i don't know it's it's normally not like that like i do have bad cramps but it was so painful yesterday i honestly felt like i was being like dramatic like it felt like the extent of my pain like felt dramatic for it just being my period but i was like oh my god i'm like not well so I was so sick yesterday and I was so nauseous to the point of like having to, you know. And anyway, today I woke up and I felt so much better this morning. I woke up and I was still cramping this morning when I woke up, but I took Advil and I felt better. But then now it just hit me again and I'm feeling so like sick to my stomach. For some reason, I feel like it's like opposite with me. Whenever it's my time of the month, I lose my appetite. Like everything disgusts me. Like everything seems so gross to me. So it's hard for me to eat because I think everything looks gross. So I didn't really eat much today. And now I'm feeling extremely nauseous. So I just went across the street and I went and got Ritz crackers. And then I also got instant lunch ramen because I was like, I don't know, I just need to like eat something that's a little bit bland at least. And I'm like downing this box of Ritz. I should have got two because I'm like shoveling them into my mouth. Anyway, I just was giving an update because I'm like actually not feeling too hot. I think the shower made me feel a little bit better, but... Anyway, I'm about to lay down. It's 7.15 right now. The sun's setting at 4.50. It sets at 4.50, you guys. The sun goes down. It's like ruining my whole life. I feel like I have no perception of time. Like I'm in bed right now and it's 7.15 and it feels like it's 11 p.m. Because the sun has been down for so long. I'm just so confused. But I am going to sit and I'm going to read Iron Flame because I just got it. And I really want to read it before I see any spoilers. I'm doing a reading vlog for it. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to post that on my channel when I'm done reading it. I did do a reading vlog to Fourth Wing in case anyone cares. I uploaded that as well. I like uploading reading vlogs. I just think they're fun to like document. I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm like sharing. Sharing it with like a small audience of people who care which makes me happy so i'm gonna read iron flame and i'm gonna vlog it and then i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning i don't know what i've got planned for tomorrow who knows what the day has in store for us but i'll vlog it anyway i'm loving you guys lots and i'm gonna go yak it's the next morning and brandon and i are going grocery shopping i'm gonna give you guys a big grocery haul because i actually picked out a bunch of he just logged me in here i just picked out a bunch of recipes that i really want to make this week and i'm gonna make a new recipe tonight like a little chicken soup for us tonight but i'll give you guys a grocery haul and show you guys what i'm gonna make for the upcoming week and then yeah that's pretty much it we're gonna go into the grocery store now This is my advice. If you guys live in an apartment, you need this. It's a little cart from Amazon. We've I've had this since I lived in Arizona. The same cart, but if you order a bunch of groceries or you like go to the store and buy a bunch of groceries and you can't carry them all up, like me and Brandon, we put them all in this cart and we <laughs> roll it around and we still got so much stuff that we're still holding things but i'm gonna link this it's in my amazon storefront you guys need this it's the best thing ever we're back from the store and i'm gonna give you a little grocery haul first things first we've got a rotisserie chicken this is for the chicken soup that i'm gonna make tonight and we like to get these every time we go to the grocery store and then we just like shred them up and keep it on the fridge and then heat it up whenever we have it on like sandwiches or soups or whatever it is so we've got a nice rotisserie chicken to start two things of bread we've got regular honey wheat bread and then we've also got brioche bread because brandon makes a lot of sandwiches for some reason we go through bread so quickly we've got eggs and cheerios that's brandon's cereal selection for the week oh we also went to trader joe's but we only get like three things at trader joe's and they're all frozen <laughs> we get the uh meat lasagna it's so good the frozen lasagna is fire then we get the fried rice also fire brandon eats these two things i don't eat these this is the this is the shepherd's pie 
And then he also eats these chicken quesadillas. I tried them, I didn't love them, so. And then I got orzo pasta, my blueberry bagels. And then like I said, I actually picked meals for the week, so I like went and did all the shopping for that. So I've got arugula for one of them, I've got some green onion, I've got a carrot. This is for the soup that I'm making tonight. It's kind of, it's just like a chicken soup. So I'm gonna do celery, carrots, kale. I'm gonna make the Erwan kale salad. A pack of dude wipes. <laughs> These are some little snacks. Brandon gets sunflower seeds and then he also snuck He's in there. Also, before we left today to go to the store, I realized we were out of like all of our spices. Well, not out of them, but they were expired. So I was like, we need new spices. So I got garlic powder, onion powder, just the essentials. And then I got parsley and then I got garlic salt because we didn't have any garlic salt. I also picked up this hot honey. This is so good. This hot honey is fire. We actually go through like this a lot. We put it on pizza whenever we do like a frozen pizza or something. Or honestly, I put this on my little, I'll do my English muffin with cottage cheese and then my chili on there. And then I do hot honey and it's so fire. I did not see that Brad picked these out, but I guess he wanted chicken and sausage gumbo. And then we were out of Hidden Valley Ranch, which I couldn't ever live without, so that's what I got. I don't know if this makes me super gross, but I did get sour cream and onion ruffles. I love sour cream and onion chips, like I don't care. That's pretty much everything we got. Everything else is like just like essentials. Like I got like flour and olive oil and like stuff like that, but we got so much food. I'm really excited because I have a lot of meals that I've never cooked before planned out for the week. So I'm gonna vlog while I cook them and I'll show them to you guys because I am really excited to make them. Now I'm gonna put all of this away. The fridge is fully stocked. It's actually looking livable again, you guys. It was like so empty. This side is so chaotic. I wish that like I could be someone that has one of those really aesthetic, beautiful fridges. I just don't. I try and organize it. Like this is the most organized that it is with my vanilla coat and my yerbas. But like other than that, I try and organize it and this is it. But we've got so much stuff. We've got all my oat milk. I've got so many creamers because coffee is like the most important thing in the world. And then we have all of these sauces, all of our stuff. Anyway, I'm just showing you our fridge because it's stocked and looking good now. having lunch and it's currently what time is it it's 1 42 i did my full face of makeup and i fixed my hair a little bit and now i'm about to film some reels i've been having a lot of fun filming more fashion tiktoks i i love styling and i love doing fashion stuff but i feel like sometimes i don't share it as much as i used to but i've been having so much fun like filming videos and styling new hauls and stuff also over on my tiktok i'm doing 30 days of outfits so every single day i'm sharing a different outfit or whatever I'm wearing that day and if you guys need like outfit inspo or anything like that I'm really enjoying it and it's been really fun and so like I just love incorporating more fashion and stuff but right now I just got all these pieces from Revolve you guys know I wore this one yesterday this is like my favorite thing ever I'll link all of these pieces but look how cute this is like such a crazy set for me of all people to order but I thought it was so fun and like I don't know I have so many events coming up I'm like I can totally wear this somewhere and it's so cute so it's like this tube top and skirt and it's sequiny and then I got this which is like the softest this is I can't even explain it. it's so soft but it's actually off the shoulder I have it like straight you can do it straight across or one shoulder and it's just this little lovers and friends knit it comes in black and in white I got Heather Gray because I, I don't know I just like love Heather Gray but I really think I want to order it in black because it's so pretty and then I got this cardigan I just really wanted like a plain brown knit cardigan so i got this one it's pretty long i just wanted to be able to have something that i could either tie over my shoulders or wear with like a plain basic tee so i got this one so that's everything that i got um from revolve this month but i want to share it so i'm actually gonna style these i do these videos where i'll do what i ordered versus how i styled it so i take the piece and then i'm gonna style it up and film that for today so with this one since i already shared the outfit yesterday like how i styled it i think i'm gonna 
style it slightly differently and then share that. But yeah, this is uh, this is what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm just like having fun doing more fashion stuff and like sharing this again and like getting more inspo and stuff. So anyway, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna film that um, out in my living room and then I think that's it. Okay, wait, this is one of the outfits I just put together and it's so cute. I love it. It's so cozy. This is like, it's just a regular like plain top, but it is so soft and so cozy, but I like this outfit that I just filmed in, so I wanted to show you guys because I think it's cute. It's 3.40, I'm done filming my reel, and then I just packed up some Depop orders for you guys, so like anyone who's ordered recently, I'm gonna go out and drop them off at the post office, so I just packaged them all up. I really need to finish filming a reading video that I had for you guys. I have like a couple more TikToks and a reading video that I need to film. It's already up by now. It's my two Twisted Crowns reading vlog, which I already uploaded. So I'm gonna finish filming for that right now. At four o'clock, which it's like 3.40 right now, so it's almost four, but at four o'clock, I get so unmotivated. Like it's so bad, which is why I've been doing my 6 a.m. morning routine because I get so much more done. And also with this daylight savings, like literally the sun is gonna set in 40 minutes and so i'm like my light for filming is going away which is so frustrating because i'm like normally i can like keep filming until like six o'clock and now it's cutting two hours out of my day to film so it's kind of frustrating but i'm glad i got a lot done i'm really excited to cook for brandon brandon actually requested that we put the air mattress back out in the living room because he was like i loved having that on the weekends like i don't know why it's just like so much cozier and it feels like we're having like a sleepover as opposed to like staying in our literal bedroom which is like right across the way i don't know he's just like i really want to set up the air mattress again so that's what we're gonna do for this weekend i'm gonna set up the air mattress tonight after i make us chicken soup soup and we're also going to watch elemental on disney plus it's like a newer disney movie it's been out for a minute but we haven't watched it and my sister said it's so cute so i was like why don't we watch a cute disney movie tonight so i'm gonna make chicken soup i'm gonna put the air mattress out and we're gonna watch elemental together and that's basically our plan but anyway i need to film because my light is going away and then i'll be back i ordered brandon the skims boxers he has these boxers that he owns by this brand that I'm not gonna say, but I literally hate them. <laughs> I hate the ones that he wears. I don't know. I just hate them. They're not cute. They're not chic. And so when I saw that Skims was launching men's, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going out of my way to buy these because I was just like, I can't handle this. Wait, am I missing some? Skims, they didn't pack two of the boxers that I ordered. That's such a bummer. I ordered um, a three pack for him. So this is like three different colors, boxers. And then I ordered two more. So these are the cotton ones. And then I ordered him sports ones because I wasn't sure if he would like the sports or the cotton, but that's the color of them. But they didn't mail me the cotton or they didn't mail me the two sports ones that I ordered. They only mailed me three pack. You guys know I love skims. I stand by them, but that is annoying. Babe, I'm so bummed. I have your boxers <laughs> and they're so cute. But remember I ordered the sports ones for you because I was yeah. like, I don't know if you like the cotton or the sport. They didn't pack, they didn't mail me the sports ones. So I have to email them. Three. Well, like it says only quantity ship was one. So one of the three things. So that... maybe it's coming separate. The, these other two, yeah. Didn't, okay, so maybe ship. maybe you're coming separate. They must be. Then. Okay, so maybe I'll wait. Give the people what they want. Give an honest reaction. It's good material. I feel like it'd be good to sweat whipping. Sweat, sweat whip. <laughs> sweat what? Wicking. I was gonna say something. I was like sweat wicking for my. <laughs> but I was gonna say something funny, but I couldn't get it out because I was thinking about the joke too much. <laughs> nice and sweat wicking. Your head's cut off. You look like the guy on nice the. Nice and sweat wicking for my. <laughs> Wait, wait, stand up. You look like the guy on the Proud Family, you know, when the guy's her dad and they never show his face the whole show. <laughs> so that's cut off. Thank you, Kim. I'll send you a pic, me and these, for a review so you can get them ready for the next launch. And James! Yeah. yeah. No, Thank but you, Kim. really, how do they feel? They feel good. They feel really Kim soft. Did not, Kim did not send these. I bought these. No, Kim with sent my me own these. money. Kim sent me these. Thank you, Kim. I do think they're really, really nice. They look really comfy. These are my type of briefs, boxers that I like to wear like they do for going soft. out, athletic, or walking around in. I, I, I am to... 
interested to see what the sports ones are like because these are just the regular cotton ones. These are no, no, no. These, these aren't, aren't the cotton, cotton ones. These are stretch. Yeah. And then I ordered the sports ones. I don't know what the difference is, but sports mode. <laughs> he had X Games mode. Okay, so the mattress is up. Brandon is excited because this was his request, and now it's all made. <laughs> Don't look at me sideways. Ooh, Don't look at me sideways to act like you didn't I, ask. I begged her for this. I would have happily slept in our own bed had you I, not asked. Whatever, I'm making dinner, so I'm starting to make the chicken noodle soup for tonight. Not me with my PR next to all my food. <laughs> um, I'm gonna link the recipe and so that you guys can go and follow it if you want. It's really, really simple, but I'm gonna start making our dinner. Mm -hmm. 